my household is a pretty athletic household in my opinion um all my brothers play sports all the way from soccer to football i was a soccer player because you know it just runs in the house um but my earliest memories of transitioning to basketball and loving the sport and taking it seriously had to be seeing my older brother play it he was really serious about playing basketball while all of us were playing different sports he was the one that you know was joining different sports leagues, sports teams to just get his name recognized because you're in KW. You know how hard it is to get your name recognized? So he was doing his due diligence, coming home with accolades, seeing him have all that stuff every time he came home. Just I was like, yo, I look you want to be like that. And just after seeing him do that, um, I started my journey of my basketball. And ever since that day, I haven't stopped hooping. And... This is where I am right now. What is your skill level currently? Um, My skill level, I feel like over the years of playing basketball, I've had many, many, many bad moments. But with those bad moments, came my greatest moments as well. I'm not gonna lie, those moments, I teed up no cap. But because my bad moments overpowered my greatest moments, made me realize what I needed to improve on over my basketball skills. And after realizing that, I know that I'm good enough to beat everyone else on Conestoga to make the team, but I'm not good enough to, you know, play for the play for the team because though the people that are already on the team are better than me. So these next months. I'm going to be putting in the work, grinding, no days off, and improving every single skill I got to be able to play for the team. Niggas talking to me, saying I got trust issues. No, you just mistaken, I cannot be out with you. Got that nigga running, oh my God, I need a tissue. Do not ask no questions, simply I just go dismiss you. Niggas mistake me for a lot of niggas like you. Tired by this stupid shit, too bad I am too. Oh, fuck the feelings, my nigga, you don't got a clue. Right, you know, I was just chilling, right? And the Connor Stoker coach texted me and wants me to pull up to, like, an ID session. So, your boy's going to hoop at Connor Stoker, man. Let's see how well I do, man. I'll try to record some footage. I don't know if I can, but if I can, I'll record and let's see how well I do, man. But I'll see you guys when I'm at Connor Stoker. Where am I pissing? Right here? Welcome to the vlog. I am reverse Sorry, not sorry, nigga. We not the competition, nigga. Be with me and I was with my niggas, everybody at the bot. We just love abusing auto tune. Fuck a track, my niggas gon' make a bag of two. Turn it up, my nigga, this shit gon' blow the roof. All my life, I'm quitting basketball after today, man. I'm done with basketball. Guys, ain't even sweating. How the fuck? How the fuck we play a hundred hours or just now? You're not even sweating. That's, I'm done with basketball, man. I'm quitting, man. I think it's time for me to pursue my music career. No, no, I'm not that. <laughs> well, I just got home, man. And this is my last time playing basketball, y'all. So, yeah, man. I'll catch you guys next time, man. That's actually, you, yeah, you have no, a, I have yeah, a gym go, membership, too. Go and you still don't go to the gym. Why don't you, why don't you go? go to the gym? No, you're no. up to like four in the morning no, and, you're, no. and you're posting like, why am I up so late? Nah, no, bro. Women, women. Go this, 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 and that. God, God, I can't. God, God did. God, God did. At 5 a.m. in the morning. Look like a bad bitch. Go oh, God oh, did. Oh, KW needs a hero. No, they fucking don't. They need your ass to get in the gym. All right? We don't need no Batman. You know that Batman logo that shines through the air that has a bat and the light? That's him at like dusk. He's just standing there. This nigga's just there, bro. I'm DK. Hey, Daniel, get your ass in the gym, bro. Get, get you in the gym. Nah, bro. What kind of ankles bro. you talking about too much? Start mm. doing your tibula raises. Come on. Get do nothing. Yeah. Yeah.
He's like, ah, my ankle, ah. So why ah, don't you go to every the gym? time? I don't like going to the gym. Okay. I work out at home. But, no, but don't watch Toby. Don't watch <laughs> you. You work out at home? Nah, bro. Exactly. I have the waist for it, bro. Like, but you bro, don't, I, why is she doing it? Huh? I don't know, bro. Why are you watching no, what Toby's Tommy doing? Lays. But watch Listen, what you nah, doing, real bro. Talk, real talk. I used to go to the gym for like consistently. Mm. Then when? I how, went how to, consistent? Two weeks? No, this is like four weeks ago. Like, this is a month ago. Month ago. Like, I went for a month straight every day. I was, I was like locked in. Then. I, I, I just got his, ma- his, I mentally clocked his out His brain reset from me. Nah I just, I just <laughs> had one of those moments that I just I mentally clocked out One so. of those moments That's lasted for a month. No 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 I literally mentally clocked out Of basketball too So I wasn't even hooping That's the thing well, You started hooping then Why didn't you go to the gym <laughs> I, I, tr- I literally went like Monday Then I was like I ain't doing this Exactly I, why, I, you, so why are you Why are you <laughs> My slime is in my night, yeah. Yo, we gon' turn it up a notch. Yeah, I gotta do it out of love. Got your lady sitting on my crotch. What they talking about me? What's the fuck? I, I don't smoke inside it in my lungs. What they tryna set me up with frogs? Yeah, I told my little bro it's a war. She for everybody that's a hug. And I gotta do it on my charts. And she told me she for Singapore. Well, oh, that was a good workout. Got two more. Yo, why am I black as hell right now? I got like two more weeks before tryouts. Oh, work on my pose fade more as midis. It's time for me to go grab some downs. I'm hungry as hell, bro. Louis jeans on my rhythm. I don't wanna give him Man, it's been about three weeks since the trial happened. And I'm here to tell you what happened. Um, so the first trial was September eighth. So the first thing we did was we did the beep test. Um the coach wanted to see if um, how well people's conditioning was and before he started doing the beef test he said yo I got a specific number if you guys can't reach it you're getting kicked out right away just to, to sum it up the target score was 15 no one knew I got 16.9 cuz I thought all men's gonna drop by 7 but I no man dropped but yeah I got 16.9 there was like 70 people that got cut down to 15 straight away from just the beef test after the beep test, we did some Serbian three on three. Then we did fives. I did, I did all right, you know. I was getting to my positioning. I was getting to my spots, my mid ranges, everything that I worked on all summer. The thing that just wasn't hitting was my threes, and the threes were bad, fam. Like I don't know if it's because I was practicing on high school three the whole summer, but I just couldn't shoot the college line. But um, after the first trial, the coaches said, "Yo." You made it to the second trial. So the second trial was Monday, so that would be the 10th, right? So the 10th of September happened, um, went to trials, right? First thing we did was some dribbling drills and, you know, warmed up. I did my due diligence. I did pretty well on that. Then the coaches split up the players, right? The team, the players are already on the team and the trial players, right? Um, so we started off with some, we started with some transitioning threes. Bro, I don't know if it's the college line or I just, I'm just, it's just a mental thing. I still couldn't hit. Like, I hit like two threes the whole time when we did transition threes. And after transition, we did, we did some weaves, bro. The weaves, yeah. The weaves were away when, you know, I had to show up a little bit, right? We're doing a three on three, three on three weave drill where it's just an outlet, right? So we're doing a three on three. Man, outlet it to me, fam. I look to my left, fam. Yeah, yeah, I saw the house. I saw Gyal. I saw Gyal, fam. So when I saw the Gyal, your boy said, yo, Michael Jordan, take the wheel, fam. I went up. Boom. I dunked that hole, right? Then I went back again, right? Got the outlet again. Was about to do another one, you know, this time in front of the coaches. Man, oh, man. You don't gotta talk what happened, bro. That that was low key, a little embarrassing. But you know, I missed the dunk. Then we did the we did the runs, the runs, man. I didn't do good in my opinion. Like, I mean, I don't know if it was cause I just. I mean, I wasn't hitting, but I was getting to my I was getting to my shots. You know, you know those ones like when you like uh uh-uh, open shots, but you just miss those. And you know, you hit those. Like, tell me how I practiced those for two months straight to just show it off at tryouts and. I wasn't hitting, fam. You don't know how pissed I was. But besides that, right, I was getting to my spots. People were not passing the damn ball trying to be like, yo, I'm Steph Curry, let me take this up. Like, bro, the amount of times I was just open under the paint asking for the rock, no man's passed the rock. So I was like, all right, be selfish, fam. So I 
So all I could do was just move around, you know, try to create space, move my man around, setting screens, this, that, and the fourth. Road, telling people to rotate, but they have no ball IQ, so they weren't rotating, so it just messed up the whole entire thing. But the coaches were looking, seeing me, seeing me cut and talk, this, that, and the fourth. So after after the five on five, we finished, right? Coaches brought everyone in, and he was like, "Yo, these four players made it. Um, if I didn't list your name, come talk to me." He went, he went like this: name the first guy, name the second guy. Name the third guy. My name wasn't called yet. Everything was in slow motion to me. Man said, D King. We made it, Ninja. Yo, I was gassed. I was lit. I was like, yo, all the hard work paid off. You know, God did. After I made the squad, you know, I was I was a little excited. You know, I was enjoying my time, right? You know, after trials ended, bro, I was driving home, listening to my boy Rod Wave, Rod Darius the Goat Wave. You know. Recently dropped an album, album of the year, no cap. So the next day hit, um, we had strength and conditioning that day. So I texted my coaches ahead of time um, that I couldn't, wouldn't be able to attend the strength and conditioning because I had class, right? And he was like, okay. So I went to class. I opened my phone and then I saw the coach texting me, yo, meet me at the lock because at 7.45. So I was like, for what? But I was like, okay, tell me why the moment I replied, right? Every negative thought in the whole entire world just came storming to my head. I was like, yo, did I get cut from the team? Like, was it because I was missing layups? Was it because I, w I wasn't talking, wasn't cutting, wasn't getting buckets? Like, was it because of my missed dunk? Like, every negative thoughts. But, you know, in the back of my head, a little, a little thought bubble was like, yo, what if, you know, you're just getting your jersey number? What if you're just signing some papers, you know, this and the fourth? But nah, fam. I went, I went to the locker room. And the moment I walked into the, to the locker room um, and I saw two other players just waiting by the door for the coach to come in, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew it was bad. So the coach came, walked in the locker room, and first we sat down. First thing this guy said was like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. The moment he said those words, fam. Like the whole world freaking stopped at that moment, fam. Like to sum up what what he said is that when he handed in the roster for the team, the admin said they have too many players and the amount of players they can have is 18. So to make the limit, they had to cut us. So I made the team for one day and got cut the next day. I'm not gonna lie, that was one of the worst drives home I've ever had in my whole entire life. Um, I've, I, I don't know how to feel, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I've just, I haven't hooped in three weeks. Um, I, I'm mentally, I'm full on clocked out of sports right now. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'll even hoop anymore, but we will see, man. Yeah, man. That's what happened. I got cut. And currently, um, I'm not hooping. So hopefully, I'll come back from the slump. But right now, I'm done with ball. But yeah. Gonna take a flight to Costa Rica. Shorty, you're the only thing I need in my future. Every time I see you, you drop.